In thinking about the GOP candidates and who's going to stay, who's going to bug out, whatever, and who's going to raise the most money, it has occurred to me, as I wonder if it's occurred to a lot of us, whether these men have any clue on what life has become for, I dare say, a quarter of this country's population. It has been horrendously, bone-crunchingly bad. Um, con artists, people have gotten cynical and mean. The charity factor is gone. Uh, people who would contribute to society, uh, who were managers or people who worked hard all their lives or are unemployed, they're not counted in the unemployment uh, roles because they stopped looking. I mean, they're not on the rolls anymore because they've run out of benefits. It is an incredibly hard time. Obama, meanwhile, uh, you know, is, seems to be uh, good at making people feel like he understands and he's taken an opportunity to um, try to bring on socialism, which is, I don't believe, the answer. Uh, some people might feel like it is out of necessity, but it really is much more complicated than that. On the GOP side, we have a businessman, Rom, uh, Mitt Romney. We have a pragmatist in Newt Gingrich. We have a zealot with Rick Santorum. Um, I have no doubt that Mitt Romney would do a good job uh, business-wise. Uh, I've decided I don't care whether I like any of their personalities. Uh, there's something about each of them that, I, that appeals to me. There's something about each of them that turned me off. It doesn't matter. We have got to have a president who really understands uh, what, what needs to be fixed at all levels because really if you ignore the middle, the people who can and will contribute when they get back on their feet, if you ignore those people, you're going to have a system of bourgeois and proletariats. And that's what communism was built upon. So I am begging these men to really study hard. I'd like to hear uh, who they pick for their cabinets. I'd like to also hear exactly how they would, what legislation they would propose, what do they like, what would they change uh, specifically in what uh, Obama has proposed. And in terms of health care, what would they propose as a realistic, sustainable uh, system. There's no doubt we've got to do something about that. Um, so you're looking at a face of poverty. Yeah, I've had to make a choice between medicine and food, and gas prices are ridiculous. I don't know how anybody's getting by anymore. I really don't understand it. So it just shows the will of the people, and I just wish people would use this time to be compassionate and, and thoughtful and listen to what these people have to say and I pray that they would please say something that is relative and actionable and reasonable.